Well, if you stop looking at all the journalist files and actually go look at the suspected terrorist, you may pretend, uh, prevent some terrorist activity, but that makes too much sense. You guys are gathering all this metadata, not just FBI, but uh, NSA, whoever else. They have all this mundane metadata on uh, normal people who are looking up Googling pressure cookers or uh, buying backpacks, and they got all this stuff. Meanwhile, the terrorists are running wild out here, not just in this country, but all around the world because you guys have this congested apparatus. We can't even get to the information that you really need to keep the people safe. And this is a case in point of that. A suspected terrorist, the Istanbul terrorist mastermind, was a refugee protected by the EU. The Chechen national was on a Russian terrorism watch list since 2003 but received asylum in Austria after he claimed he was severely tortured and under persecution by Russian authorities. He was later arrested in Sweden after Kalashnikov assault rifles, explosives, ammunition were found in his car, but he only spent over a year in jail. Russia again tried to extradite him later as he was crossing the border between Turkey and Bulgaria, but human rights groups pointed to his refugee status in Austria to block Moscow from getting their man. Yeah, if you guys also remember, who else was from Chechnya? Uh, the Boston Bombers, or at least the older brother, going to uh, various terrorist training camps, and uh, DHS calls us, or the Russian calls uh, DHS, and they're saying, hey, you might want to watch out for this, this Sarnayev guy. Like, yeah, 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 we got it, and we all know what happened later, regardless of what you think about that whole official narrative. The point is that Russia was warning us, and Russia, the country we don't have the best of relations with, saw somebody who, who was such a serious threat in their mind that they picked up the phone and called us to warn us about it, but nobody really did anything. A similar thing with this guy, uh, because they were more concerned with being politically correct, uh, they said this guy is a refugee, he needs to be protected from those evil Russians, even though this guy uh, clearly was a danger even before uh, the most recent terror attack.